Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. Is Skellig Michael worth visiting? The magnificent Skellig Michael is worth visiting as it is one of only two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Republic of Ireland. The other being Bruna Boyan, an archaeological ensemble of the Bend of the Boyne. Ancient folklore and early Christian history both mention these two majestic outposts with the earliest reference dating back all the way to 1400 BC. Early poems and stories reference the tale of how the Chuather de Danan caused Milesius, an invader, to shipwreck in the area. A further reference dating back to 200 AD tells of Derdeman, known as King of the World, resting at Skellig Island before going into battle with Fionn Mac Cool and the Fianna. After this, the history of Skellig is very much a Christian one with monastic settlements dating back to the 6th century. St. Fionn's Monastery, one of the earliest foundations in the country, is settled on the summit of this rock. Monks lived and worshipped in beehive shaped huts made of stone, many of which remain to this day. After the monks left in the 13th century, the island became a place of pilgrimage. You can follow in the footsteps of the monks climbing the 618 uneven steps. The effort to get up there is definitely worth it. Following in the monks' footsteps involves climbing 618 steep, uneven steps. Getting to the top is quite a challenge, but well worth the effort. Star Wars is one of the main reasons why Skelling Michael became famous after it was cast as Island Sanctuary of Luke Skywalker on the planet Achtu. The second island is called Little Skellig or Small Skellig and is the second largest gannet colony in Europe with over 20,000 nesting pairs. There are several other species such as cormorant, and varieties of gull also inhabit the island. Skellig Michael is home to the iconic puffin who is strongly associated with the rocks as well as several other bird species. It is estimated that there are around 4,000 puffins on the island, but they are there only seasonally, usually migrating during the first week of August. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.